Hello and welcome one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at a very common technique used in advertising design um, which is transitioning of two images or, or combining or, or what's usually uh, called composing two separate images into one. Um, I know that um, a lot of Photoshop users that are beginning to use Photoshop have a, a very difficult time getting uh, to make smooth transitions between two images and so uh, I'm sure that this technique is going to help you do exactly that learn how how it's done professionally so that your transitions between images look a lot a lot better so let's take a look well here we are in Photoshop and I have two images uh, one in each layer first we have this this image in the first layer and then we have uh, another image in the second layer and again this both of these images are taken from stock exchange um, so we appreciate that and uh, so let's go ahead and try to do the transition but before we start let me just say how not to do it which which usually tends to be that people try to cut the images somehow in order to make the transition and that usually doesn't work very well so the appropriate technique is not to erase but actually to create a mask so that we're masking certain portions of the top image so that we only uh, uncover certain portions of the image so what I want to do here just for the example is to show the eyes of the first image in the second image and then hide everything else so what we're gonna do is just position it anywhere and then create here uh, or add a layer mask on top of that and then select the brush and let's go ahead and use opacity well first of all let's let's select here the mode to normal mode and then select the opacity to 100 percent and that's what we're going to use for the edges make sure that you're using a soft brush as opposed to a hard brush so hardness needs to be at zero percent all right and then let's go ahead and start selecting a black color so that we're painting in the mask with black color right in the edge all right just keep painting until you're happy with the uh, with the edge and then you can reduce the opacity a little bit so that you can paint a little bit easier and you let go of a more uh, you have a, a better transition now All right, and then you can change, just select the main layer and change a little bit of the opacity of the whole thing. Obviously, the last details would be to match somewhat the coloring or the hues of the original photo. So in this case, what I'm going to do is, is just use a little bit of, of a saturation effect. So add an adjustment layer by clicking here and then just go to hue and saturation and we're going to reduce the saturation like so and then you can obviously change uh, everything else as you can see I am changing the lightness and saturation of the whole composition as opposed to just the top image which is the one that I want so by clicking here I can just do a, a masking layer over this one and just affect the top layer as opposed to the whole composition so let's reduce there the saturation and then let's increase a little bit of, of that there and again obviously you can much the technique and as 
you can see the transitions are extremely smooth and that's the way that it, it should be they should be accomplished like that as opposed to having uh, something that is uh, with a, a ragged edge or or something that is done with an with the eraser tool it doesn't look as smooth like that the transitions are not great so this is the right way of doing it and obviously this is what you uh, see professionals do in advertising today so I hope that this has been helpful and if you have any questions or comments just let us know at mercados.com m-e-r-k-a-d-o-s.com thank you so much bye-bye